What's up guys? Grad Skirt Lounge once again. And if you guys saw my late my latest upload, again I'm back on cannabis. You know, follow me at the Grass Skirt Lounge on uh Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Grass Lounge. You can also follow us on at the Grass Skirt Lounge on Facebook or send us a friend request. Come view the page, leave comments open dialogue about the cannabis industry and also you can subscribe to the grass skirt lounge on youtube check out some of our videos on there share with your friends like so on and so forth leave a comment in the comment section all that good stuff so hemp cannabis product sales projected to hit one billion dollars in three years forbes mobile wow that is very um, interesting, promising. Penny stocks. I thought it was going to take me directly to, oh, here we go, continue to article. Here we go. Hemp derived cannabidiol is pro CBD, as you know, we know it to be. It's projected to be a billion dollar market in just three years, according to a new report by Brightfield Group. The data company estimates that hemp CBD sales have already hit 170 million in 2016 and a 55% compound annual growth rate over the next five years will cause the market to crack the billion dollar mark. CBD made from hemp contains less than 0.3% THC the psychoactive ingredient associated with marijuana and is often used to treat various medical conditions. It is sometimes called hemp oil and is sold in most states and online. This makes the product more accessible than marijuana derived CBD, which some customers believe is the more effective version of CBD, but can only be sold where marijuana is legal. There was a great deal of confusion regarding the legal status of hemp and why these products are so readily available versus marijuana-based CBD products. In 2014, the Farm Bill stated that hemp was different from marijuana, yet the Drug Enforcement Agency, DEA, position is that hemp comes from the cannabis sativa plant and as such falls under the Controlled Substance Act, which is completely asinine if you ask me. In 2004, the Hemp Industry Association won a court case against the DEA from the Ninth Circuit Court, of appeals that ruled the DEA didn't have the authority to ban hemp under the CSA. Quote, by that federal court ruling, similar to non-scheduled hemp food products, this allows Medical Marijuana Inc. to sell online and distribute to customers in all 50 U.S. states, end quote, said Dr. Stuart, Stuart Titus, the company's CEO. So you guys can go to Forbes.com and check out the rest of this article. Or you can go here to Gulf Coast Meds. I don't follow them yet, but I probably will. And check out this article. Or like I said, go to Forbes.com or follow these guys. But projected sales to hit $1 billion in three years. I mean, what more needs, what more needs to be said? What more, what more needs to be said? How can you respect and or be a, a constituent of people who would vote against this kind of revenue? How can they be smarter than the average bear when they're not smart enough to realize that this is very beneficial to the economy and, and so far as alternative medications go? But like the article just said, hemp-based CBD isn't illegal and you can still get it. And they can't do anything about that. But marijuana-based CBD, some people say, is more potent, more effective. So, legalize it. Let people people figure out their own ways to medicate themselves. And <laughs> let's have a happier, healthier society. But come on, man. A billion dollars in three years? That's awesome. 